Hello there, YouTubers. This is Phoenix Steamer 2310, and uh, this is the tutorial video on how to motorize the Lego Snow Groomer. Groomer? Yeah. And uh, let's first let's make some light. Uh, you already you have already seen the uh, product if you watched my other video. So groomer Lego motorized. Uh, very fun. The bad thing about this is that I can't uh, motorize this. This. Well. <coughs> First, let's take the thread off. Perfect. Now, oh yes, first uh, for this motorizing operation, you'll be needing two media motors, one XL motor, one uh, transceiver, two receivers, and uh, one battery box. And some pieces. I don't remember exactly which pieces, and I'll try to... Uh, find the perfect one. Uh, now let's get started with the simple part. Take off this back wheel, take the large motor, and add, wait, okay, add two of these pieces right here. Next, wait a second. Attach this here, it falls off. Perfect. Uh, yeah, I don't exactly remember how to motorize it. And so I'm doing it in a chaotic way. Take off this piece. Yeah. Uh, next. If I remember, oh yes, I remember. Take off this wheel. Separate this piece. And you'll be needing one Yeah. You'll be needing one number three rod. Wait a second until I find one. Okay, I found uh, two. Now place the first one right here. Then reattach the wheel. You will also have to take this off. If I remember. And oops. Wait a second. Good, I'm back. Um these are very important. You can get them in a, that orange, that yellow set, the uh, telescopic handler. Next, that's your number five. You can use number four, but I don't have any. I only have one, and then it will look weird. Next, uh, nice. take this and this and Combine them, then attach them right here. Next, attach this part. No, you you can only use uh, number five. Yeah, I was wrong. Now, attach this piece right here, and it looks something like this. Next, you'll get this. Take it away. <coughs> and now 
how you can attach a motor. Do the exact same thing for the other side. Now that we're done with the other side, oh, uh, one thing, on this side I reversed the order, see it's the difference between this, <coughs> but it's not necessary, <coughs> sorry I have a sore throat. Now, uh, take off this part, and attach this and this so reading this piece and another piece oh we have one here Let's check out. Can take it off. If you use blue pieces, uh, the battery box will slide off. Uh, will not slide off. Okay. I hope I get a better camera soon. And you're done. Yeah, this will be a crappy part. It uh, doesn't stay very well. The battery box uh, don't doesn't work together with uh, the front plate, for, unfortunately for us. Now attach this and this. Doesn't matter how you attach them. Okay. Next. Oh, I don't think I have any batteries left in the battery box. So I guarantee this will work. Yeah, normally you have to place this here. Well, I think it can work if you, if you place this here. Uh, yeah, but you have to use two remotes. Next, the third one. Wait a second until so I reattach the thread. Perfect. Now, let's see if it works. Okay. That plate works just fine. Now, yeah, there won't be a way. Yeah, yeah. there won't. They will work the opposite way, and if you invert them, they will pull and uh, it will go crappy. Yeah, but. Find this way. Okay, thank you very much for watching and uh I'd like to say that these pieces are are actually the spare parts that I got in the Technic uh set. And some uh, of these, like these Lego bricks that work well when motorizing the telescopic uh, handler for the receiver. Thank you very much for watching and uh, please watch my other video videos. So, next time, it's 310 out.